And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. Oh, auto save. Now, I think we're going to have to upgrade all these trucks. Because we're not able to move enough material quite yet. So, do a replacement set vehicle. This is a blue line. Uh, Peterbilt is able to move 19. It's bigger. Takes up more space on the street, uh, but we're going to have to do it anyway. Yes, and 25%. Let's see if that replaces. It does. Good, good, good. Because we want to start moving way more material. As you can see, we've got a purple line and a black line running running on this. Good times. So, hopefully, as these upgrade, we'll be able to move more and more material. The system will catch up with us. Because we're, we're pushing so much food down here right now. And there's very little commercial that this is actually feeding. Just these fringe buildings is all it's feeding. And there's a whole lot more commercial out here. So this line right here, this station, is a very popular station for dropping stuff off. I might actually want to change that around because I don't want them dropping, dropping stuff off. But this is such a prime location. Look at that commercial that's in that catchment area. Such a tough decision whether or not to do something different. Slowly replacing all these vehicles. Look at all the food that we've got here, though. This is why... This is why I set the, the Freightliner the very last truck you get to hold way more because normally like the last truck this is 19 the last truck is like 21 and that's just not enough material when you're talking about a city that's demanding thousands and thousands of said material look at our fuel has gone way up now excellent so let's look at the vehicles looks like we are all upgraded so we want to set new on that. So by the time the Freightliner comes out, these should just about be ready to hit the road. And how many people do you have? You have full, and you are only seven years old. Tools and stuff. How are our tools doing? I'm so tempted to forego <laughs> the ships. You just can't move enough material with ships. They're so slow that you, I mean, even if you had a bunch of them, like this one. Oh no, that's a plank one. There's another steel one. I mean, the amount of time it takes for them to creep into the station, load, and then creep out of the station. In that amount of time, no other ships can come in on that line. So it's just sitting here. Um, whereas if I had a train, I would be able to move, I would be able to have like eight trains all loading off the same line, out of the same depot even. But you just can't do that with ships. Such a limiting factor. So I'm tempted to scrap the boats and try to figure out a crazy rail system in order to bring more steel over because we really are going to need a lot. There's a lot more earning potential over here when it comes to the tools. I mean, we can, we can really push the tools to make tons and tons of money. Plus, this will never upgrade if we're feeding it this slow. Because production goes up, and then it goes back down when it's empty. 
So it's just this teeter tottering here. Drop off all those tools. Come on. See what I mean? Come on. And there it is. Finally, some steel. Load all the steel. Plus, we're just not making a whole lot of money. I mean, we're delivering 150, which is pretty close to having like a train with nine cars full of steel unload. And because we're moving it so slow, we're making very little money. Whereas if we had a train moving that same amount of materials and we're able to push it, you know, even if I was to go like up the coast, bridge over this area, come down this way, bridge over this and load it in here, I bet you we would still make more money with the same amount of steel just because it's moving faster. You know, these, these things max out at what, 19 miles an hour? I can get a train on this line going 100 miles an hour all the way up here. Even more if I built a bridge, a crazy, unrealistic bridge over the top. Uh, but I, I really don't want to build a bridge like that. That's kind of crazy. So how old is this train? See, these trains I just replaced. I just replaced, and I just got the buy level unlocked. It would be so nice if I could throw the buy level on this. Because they would hold way more people. You see, the building values in here are just glorious. These will eventually be extremely, extremely tall buildings. And now that we let's kind of look at our area here, we've kind of spurned a little bit of development over here. Uh, this area over here has started to level up. You can see the, the more dense buildings. Over here, it's really made an improvement. Partly because the counterclockwise brings it right over to jobs. Uh, the clockwise really doesn't do much. No, it does, because it delivers it right into here. So our clockwise goes right into here, which it opens up the commercial area too. So this, it has direct access to industrial and direct access to commercial. So this is really popular. Um, this is kind of a winding route to get to industry. So if you want to boost this area, Creating a direct line from here all the way over to here might be might be beneficial. So, you know, it's already got direct access to commercial with the the counterclockwise line, but industry, uh, the industrial sector, is kind of far away. So you could promote growth over here, or you could really promote growth and just add another rail station over here that would really do it and hook up directly into a city like this that has uh, industry already here but it, it's better to connect right up to something like this that is commercial and industry right in the same right in the same block and that would connect all that residential that you have up here all this residential would connect directly down into commercial and industrial. So that would really go a long ways to help that line out. So maybe we should do that. Now, you know, the more I talked about it, the more I kind of wanted to try it. So what's the best way of getting some growth over here without destroying too many houses? Because I'm going to go right into Atlanta. I'm going to skip Nashville and go right into Atlanta from this side over here. So I'm going to create a little bit of a spur. Like that. And get a rail passenger. I'm going to do a side, side loader. And let's rotate this around. So you can see it's it's capturing a lot of that. OK, 
Okay, what does our angle look like here? Uh, angle is actually not too bad. Could be better, but I kind of want to go parallel to this line. Squish it in. We've already got a bus station right there. In case anybody wants to go, this bus station captures this. No problem. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to encourage growth out this way as well. And we can connect it right. Whoa, whoa, collision. Why is there a collision? Oh, it's colliding on that? Well, that's not cool. What the heck? Oh my god. That's just annoying. There we go. And now... Okay, that's also annoying. And we're gonna flatten that out. There we go. Like it never happened. And then we're gonna run over this. I actually wanna bridge over that. What? Oh, I see. I see how you are, game. Really? Usually you usually you like the curves, but for some reason not today. Why see now you're now you're curvy. Now you're doing the curves. No, I wanna go up. There we go. Too much slope. There we go. Yay! Yay! We did it. So that connects to that line there. Uh, I'll connect this one over here in a second. I want to first try to connect Atlanta up using this unused line right here. Because that other line we can use for food and tools delivery eventually. Ooh, look at that. Boeing 757. Sweet. So that must mean our our airport system has gone up a little bit. So I'm going to stretch that up a little bit. And we're going to look down here for a line I can pull. And we're going to tunnel. Oh. Are you serious? What, what are you colliding with? What could you possibly be colliding with? I, I just don't get it. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing that is not good? Okay, let's stretch this one out a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of distance on it and then and then take it all the way down there we go just didn't like we're gonna make sure we're top tier here all right not that I really need a huge bridge right there, but it kind of looks cool. So we're going to keep it. All right. So over here, all of these. Oh, oh, wrong. Wrong thing. Connect those sides together just so people can drive back and forth. See, this is why I place the roads after my rail. Because normally the rail would bump up like this, this ugliness here, and your trains would look really weird. So we're going to do a new line, and this is going to go from here down to here. 
and we're going to use this is going to be a yellow line. This is going to be Indianapolis to Atlanta commuter. I could type, that would be good. Okay, the last little bit is a a little spur for a depot. Just like that. And we're going to put a really good train that's yellow. I'm going to do the EMD with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by levels. And this is going to be Indianapolis to Atlanta. And maybe that should help, at least a little bit, grow this area. Because that's what we want. We want this area to grow. Oh, I saw, I saw one. There it is. There's the magic. A little bit more potential there. Is it covered? It's really not, but uh, it's covered by... Th is it covered by this? A little bit more, but... Eh, you know, we'll deal. Then I want that to be... At least have access to be filled in. So here's the bi-level cruising along. And this whole area now should really pick up. Because it's going to have direct access to commercial and industrial. So that will be, they'll go a long way. Because this is a huge block of residential in here. And I really want to encourage that support. And, you know, some people in the forums ask, how do you grow a city out? Well, this is how you grow a city out. You grow it, you know, you grow it initially. And then when it starts to taper off on the edges, you build another station set up and you start, you kind of do the same thing you did in the center, only on the fringes, connecting them up to various cities uh, and getting them, getting them working together. Um, so that is going to go really well. It looks like Atlanta could use a few more buses. We are a little low on buses. And we could also use a counterclockwise route in here. Unless I already have one. I do not. But I do have this downtown express uh, line here. Uh, so first, we're going to add a couple more. How old is this? 25 years? And that is a fishbowl, or is it a, a twin coach? How old can those get? Uh, da, 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 lifespan, 30 years. So those are just about ready to be retired. So I think what I'll do is replace with yellow Chevrolets. Uh, do 25% yes. So that will not only move a few, more, a few more people, but also move them a little faster. But I also want to add one, two, three, four, four more onto this line. Uh, so this is Atlanta Pass clockwise. There we go. And now that frequency is up, and we can reassess a little later. Uh, how that is going to help us. And I want to upgrade any road that isn't all these roads that we're sort of using but aren't upgraded. Yes, it clears out buildings when you get when you get aggressive like this. But buildings will grow back. They will replace and you don't have to worry about it anymore. But doing this makes the buses travel a little faster, which helps. 
I'm not worried about over here just yet. We've got plenty of stuff going on over here. But how is my how is this area reacted? Not too bad. A little bit better. Are these vehicles all replaced? They are. 100% no. Oh, we still have... Oh, this is the Express. Has this ever made money? No. This has never made money. In fact, it's losing me... 4 million a year. Just running this... this just running this train. Nobody's using it. <clears throat> DC is doing pretty good for itself we got a weird sort of snaky system going on here but that's all good a little a little organic growth is not a big deal philadelphia is doing okay could probably beef up the bus service here as well now that we got more people probably could do a counterclockwise in philadelphia too uh, as far as counterclockwise here uh, we might benefit from that but you can see this whole area up here. This is all brand new. So this is just grown like crazy. DC is doing pretty well for itself. Not, as, not nearly as good as my, our awesome Indianapolis hub here. Excellent. Uh, how is our fuel? Fuel is doing great. Uh, tools and machines still lagging way behind, even though I've got, I mean, I have to have, how many, tr how many, so planks alone has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 ships on planks. Let's see if I can find a steel. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ships. So I have 20 ships, 20 ships. Each ship is costing me 191. So we're looking at 2 million a year, at least in ships. And we're really not able to keep up with demand. Not even close. So that is a huge problem because as the city grows, the demand will grow and we can't really supply other cities with this factory because if we added another city, which we did, when we added a, a second city onto this, it's not able to supply both cities because it's just not getting that material fast enough. And again, you can't just add ships ad nauseum because you know, they will wait. If a ship comes in to grab some steel, another ship will just sit out here and wait. You won't have many, many ships loading all at once. You'll just, again, you'll just do it line by line. So having a whole lot of ships is not, not a good answer. You could technically add a second line going to the same place, but it's not guaranteed it will stay on one side or the other. You're, it's not guaranteed that it's going to use just one side or the other like you see with our bus stations um, so it's kind of frustrating like that but you know we deal but that will have to do it for this episode and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>